It is unfortunately a bit of a sour note on the holiday season for a local crafter. A theft after a recent craft fair putting her out time and money. Our Mary McGuire joining us now with more on this really unfortunate story. Mary? Yeah, Randy and Amy, the holiday season is supposed to be all about giving, right? Well, lo one local jewelry maker is out thousands of dollars and dozens of her handmade jewelry pieces after a large bag of her stuff went missing. What started as a hobby more than a decade ago has blossomed into a full-blown side hustle for Amanda Bryan. These are some of my um, sterling silver earrings. She sells her handmade, handcrafted jewelry on social media and at local craft shows, working with beads, crystals, sterling silver, copper, and vintage china. Craft shows, art fairs really get me out talking to people, and um, I, I love watching people love my jewelry. <laughs> the end product is beautiful, but what Amanda really loves is the creative process. I just kind of get into my own zone and um, it's kind of me time. But hundreds of hours of work and thousands of dollars of merchandise are now missing. Last month, she was wrapping up after a full day showing at the North Branch Community Education Arts Fest at the high school. Packing up her car, a large tote bag full of $3,500 worth of rings, earrings and necklaces vanished. It was sitting on the curb and because Everything in there is pretty fragile. Um, it has to go in last. Dozens of items are now gone. So many, in fact, Amanda had to take down her Etsy page because she simply doesn't have the capacity to fill orders anymore. It's not just about the money lost, but the time, energy, and passion she poured into every piece. I have so much work into this. I mean, years of work. She's now holding out hope for a Christmas miracle that someone with information on where her things are will come forward. No, uh, Amanda did file a report with the North Branch Police Department and they tell us they were not able to recover any surveillance video that sheds any light as to what happened. If you have any information, you're asked to call them or you can contact Amanda on her Facebook page. Reporting live tonight, Mary McGuire, Fox 9.